Yo, Bear here back in the fantasy bar. I can't help but have a big smile on my face. Football is back, and I am back with six of my favorite plays for a big week one on Yahoo Million Dollar Tournament over there with no management fee. And I've got six guys for you to help you get a piece of that big prize pool. Who am I rostering on Yahoo? Belly up to the fantasy bar and find out. Welcome in, guys, again. Football is back, and so happy to be back here in the Fantasy Bar. Another season for us, and a little quick housekeeping note. We will do one Yahoo video per week and one video with both FanDuel and DraftKings in it. So you get two times the fantasy goodness here in the Fantasy Bar every single week. So stay tuned for that FanDuel DraftKings video later on this weekend or early next week. But wanted to put the spotlight on Yahoo here, and why a $1 million tournament. And people always say, Beer, we got to have some level playing fields. Well, we have that over on Yahoo. 10 max entry here. Beer, we need a fair level prize payout. We have that here in this tournament. A easy buy-in of $25 can fit a lot of bankrolls. And no management fee, no rake. Every single dollar that's put in this tournament is going back to the players, 25% of the field will be paid out. And no subscriptions, none of that. Just money in and money back in your pocket. So a great tournament over there on Yahoo. Make sure we get over there and support them. Now, I'm here to support you guys and give you some plays for that game. But stay tuned in the video here. We're going to have a little giveaway. We're going to have a prize. Somebody's going to win either some swag or maybe a little free subscription. So got to pay attention to the picks and keep an eye on things later on in the video for that giveaway. Now, let's lead it off here at the quarterback position with Lamar Jackson, $26. So way too cheap here. You know, a Miami team that's really struggled against quarterbacks over the last few seasons. We'll get to that in a second. But Lamar Jackson just gives you such a safe floor, 16 or more Yahoo points in every single game that he's ever started, including that playoff game against the Chargers, which was ugly to begin with, but got it going there late. Anyway, gives you the floor. I think the upside will be there as well. We know he can run the ball. I think you're going to see a dramatic step in this guy's passing game here in year two in this system. And again, Miami about the best matchup we could ask for. We're bottom 10 against both the run and the pass. Did not make any significant upgrades to that defense. So Baltimore should control this game from start to finish. A big reason why Lamar Jackson Way too cheap, in my opinion, here. A great buy low at $26. All right, let's go to the tight end position next here. We're going to go a little bit off the radar here with Austin Hooper, $13. So Hooper's a guy I'm really looking forward to this season. I think he's another breakout candidate for us. Started to see some signs last season, but really a monster in the red zone. Seventh among all tight ends in red zone targets last season. Those 13 targets were second on the Atlanta Falcons. We know they don't like to throw to Julio Jones. When they get close, they like to throw to Austin Hooper, though. In Minnesota, great defense. You're probably thinking, why the hell are we targeting the Vikings here? Well, yes, the Vikings do have a very good defense, but against tight ends, not so much 30th in DVOA last season against the tight end position. I think you can see some scoring in this game. I think Austin Hooper going to find the end zone here. We're going to call our shot. Love this price, and I don't expect any ownership on him this week. At just thirteen dollars. All right, let's stay in that same range. Price rise, wide receiver D.D. Westbrook, just fifteen dollars. So huge total in this game, fifty-two point total, second highest total on the board behind New Orleans and Houston. Vegas obviously expecting a shootout with Kansas City in this game, but let's not discount the Jacksonville side of things. I think there's some very intriguing options here with Westbrook atop the list for me. I know the Chiefs will be a very popular stack even against a difficult Jacksonville defense. Westbrook makes for a great run it back option. What do I mean by that? When you stack up a team, you want to include a player or two from the other side to make it a true game stack. I think Westbrook, Fournette, another guy I really like in this game. But Westbrook is $15, way too cheap. We talked about Lamar Jackson being too cheap. Westbrook's cheap across the entire industry. Look over to a site like DraftKings, under 5 k here on Yahoo at just $15. So it's definitely been... One of the biggest risers in my rankings all offseason long. And definitely a guy that did not get priced appropriately. Take advantage while you can here with D.D. Westbrook at just $15. All right, let's get some running backs here. Let's spend some money on Chris Carson, $23. So Seattle, big home favorites in this game. That's always a very profitable spot 
four running backs. The team can control the game most likely and lean on their running attack, and we know Seattle wants to do that anyways. So with the Seahawks playing with a lead against a Bengals team that finished in the bottom six in the league in DVOA against the run, I think Chris Carson, one of the best bets on the board to not only score a touchdown, we're going to go big here. We're going to call two touchdowns for Chris Carson. Great spot for him here against a bad defense. Huge favorite and a great price on him as well at $23. All right, moving back to wide receiver. Pick number five for us here, Chris Godwin, $20. Now this guy, everybody's talking about Chris Godwin with good reason. The guy has always performed when he's gotten an opportunity. Deshaun Jackson's been hurt. Godwin has stepped in and for the most part performed in every single game except one. Now we have no Deshaun Jackson. Now we have no Adam Humphreys. It's going to be Mike Evans. It's going to be Chris Godwin. It's going to be O.J. Howard really dominating targets here in an offense under Bruce Arians that I expect to be very aggressive, especially pushing the ball down the field. Arians came out earlier in the offseason and said, this guy's never leaving the field, and we've seen that through the preseason. They have not lied to us here. The guy has pretty much been on the field for every single play with Jameis Winston and San Francisco's defense among the worst in the league, 27th last year in DVOA against the pass. I think this is going to be a shootout here, a very stackable game on both sides. But Chris Godwin playable in cash games, tournaments, any format. Really love this spot for him to get this breakout campaign going. Chris Godwin, one of my favorite receivers on the week here on Yahoo at $20. All right, it's time to take a look at my favorite play. But before we do that, guys, a couple things. I want to know who your favorite play is. Get in the comment section right below the video. Let me know who your beast of the week is. Also, while you're there on YouTube, need a couple things, guys. A, subscribe to the channel. Then you'll know when the videos are coming out. B, I need you to hit that thumbs up button. Let's see how many thumbs up we can get on the video. If you're enjoying your time here in the Fantasy Bar, that is the tip jar here. So go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. And contest time. Whoever can come the closest to Fantasy Points on Yahoo for my beast of the week is going to win one free week of Roto Grinders Premium. If you already have that, we will send you a free Roto Grinders t-shirt right to your front door. So, all you gotta do, again, get in the comment section, have to comment below the video, don't send it to me, right below the video, how many fantasy points for the Beast of the Week. Who is the Beast of the Week? Stay tuned, let's get to it. All right, beast time. We're going to go to the running back position. Once again, we're going to roll with Nick Chubb of Cleveland, $23 this week's beast of the week. So Chubb, like Carson, nice home favorite here, six-point favorites as of this recording. That's going to mean Nick Chubb going to get a lot of opportunities to play with a lead and to score touchdowns. The Browns projected for almost 28 points in this game against the Tennessee Titans. And to me, Nick Chubb belongs in the pricing with the elite tier, with those elite running backs. He's going to be more involved in the passing game here. Plenty of opportunity to score. I think this is a great spot for Nick Chubb. Probably $10 too cheap here. I'm going to tell you this now. Buy low while you can. Nick Chubb, easily my favorite play on Yahoo in this week's Beats of the Week. All right, guys, that'll wrap us up here for week one on Yahoo. If you have any questions, comments, feedback, hit that comment section right below the video. Don't forget the thumbs up. I want to know your Beast of the Week picks and get your numbers in on Nick Chubb. Whoever's the closest is going to win that Road to Grinders week. Free week of premium or a Road to Grinders t-shirt if you already have the premium. Rotogrinders.com. I am beer saying salut. So happy to be back here. So glad football's back. Good luck this week, guys. And stay tuned for that Vandal DraftKings video coming out shortly. We'll see you. Hey, thanks for checking out our videos. If you want more expert advice on DraftKings, FanDuel, or any other daily fantasy sports, make sure you check out the current video's playlist.